Up until now, every time I've shown a power pivot report, it's always been some combination of pivot tables and pivot charts, which makes sense because, hey, this is power pivot after all. Uh, but today I'm going to show a report that is not a pivot um, of either flavor. In fact, there's no pivot table anywhere in this workbook. Uh, so just to show off a few features of it, first of all, uh, this column here is, so I'm still in my, this is part of the great football project. I, in the last post, I got my uh, touchdown measures defined. And uh, that allows me to define this column here uh, called fantasy points. And if you've ever, ever played fantasy football, um, some combination of these basic statistics for your players, there's a formula that yields a, a point value for your players, and that's how the, how the game is scored. And typically, it's a combination of yards and touchdowns. That's the most, the most basic. So um, I've got this fantasy points column here, and um, it's sorted descending by, um, by fantasy points, so the number one player. This is, this is old data, so people who have been following football know that Edger and James hasn't been the top of the list for a while. But um, anyway, so uh, he's number one, and sort of descending, and you'll see that after the top ten, I have this uh, divider line that shows where the top ten ends, and then these are sort of the guys that are on the cusp of potentially breaking into the top ten, and then these bottom seven are the ones that are kind of uh, perhaps working their way up to have a little ways to go uh, to threaten the top 10. And even here you'll see that this sort of arbitrary formatting or these, um, uh, this sort of formatting, these, these, these lines in this location wherever I want, uh, this kind of formatting is not, uh, not possible in a pivot table. Um, so that's one sort of departure from pivot tables that you see here. Uh, the second thing I'm going to show is that this fantasy points column is not um, a pure measure in the cube, it actually is parameterized by some values that I have here in the grid because uh, different leagues score um, different statistics with different coefficients uh, to, to yield fantasy points. So right now I have uh, one point for every 10 rushing yards and one point for every 10 receiving yards and six points for any touchdown. So an edger in James comes out on top in that, in that world. Um, but let's say I devalue rushing yards. Let's say uh, it takes 20 yards to get a, um, a rushing yard point, and you'll see that Marshall Falk jumps to the top. Um, and then if I, and if I put that back to uh, where it was, obviously he comes back to where he was. Let's say um, if uh, I think that touchdowns shouldn't count at all, I can zero out points for touchdowns, and we'll see that Tiki Barber jumps over Marshall Falk. The, the list changes quite a bit. Uh, okay, so let's put that back how we had it, and, and then sh skip to the next step, which is that these two slicers here also impact the report. So I can switch from, right now we're seeing games, whether they're played at, uh, during the day or at night, and if I switch to night games only, well, Tiki Barber is the, is the leader in terms of t statistics in, in night games. Um, I can also filter down to individual weeks of the season. Uh, maybe even multiple weeks out of the season, see what the first four weeks of the season look like uh, for all day and night games. And you basically you'll see that, that the, um, the report is affected by both a combination of the slicers as well as these parameters um, in addition to having uh, custom, custom formatting that you really can't have in a pivot table. So uh, that's the report, and uh, I sort of crammed a lot of different features into one report. And I did that on purpose. And in subsequent follow-up posts, I will show you each individual step, uh, all the different tricks and techniques that went into making this. Um, the basics of this are much, much simpler than what you might expect. And uh, a couple of advanced things in there. But most of it's very straightforward. And so look for the explanations of those in the next couple of days.